I rescued dance, but you know, my two cats, I think, it definitely rescued me. I had taken half a bottle of sleeping pills, and one cat swatted the pills out of my hands, and the other put his paw down my throat, so in that case, I definitely rescued them. You know, I never thought much about how I would have a family. I just always thought I would have one and somehow my kids would just show up. You know, I come from a big family, 12 kids. So I know that having kids isn't what it's all cracked up to be. You know, my parents are always on edge, screaming at the top of their lungs, beating the shit out of us. He had a horrible childhood. But we just wanted to make sure that we would, you know, be prepared for the responsibilities of being a parent. So we got a dog. Yes, yeah, a good boy. Good boy. <laughs> We thought Jeff and Lisa were just like us. You know, a married couple looking for something more. I always thought it could be like this. <laughs> I think they're kind of hot. <laughs> we're really close. And then one night, we were supposed to get together, have drinks, dinner, and uh, you know, the usual. And they never showed up. We phoned, they didn't call us back. We texted them. They texted back that they were out of town. They gave us what the kids call the fade away. Fuck them. Arrangements like that never work out anyway. You end up getting just as bored with them as you do with... With what? Everything. You know, we talked about adopting a kid, you know, an older one. Morning, Mom. Morning, Dad. Did you hear that, Joy? Of course I did. Every parent waits for the moment their child says daddy and then takes their first step. And Laura did it all at once. We're very proud of you, Laura. Thank you. How are the eggs? Mm, perfect. I hope you don't mind if me and your mom watch you eat. I don't mind. I like the attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, what happened? Did you scratch yourself? Oh, that. I was cutting last night. Well, something I picked up in junior high. There's so much of your life we've missed. Hey, but we're together now. That's what matters. It's a beautiful day out. Why don't we go to the farmer's market? Sure, can we get hemp purses and Swiss chard? <laughs> they do sell a lot of crap. But maybe it'd be good to get some sun. You know, it's a great source of vitamin D. And melanoma. When was the last time you got some sun, Dad? Hey, I'm just trying to pass along some warmed over bullshit my parents told me. I never listened to my dad. Don't listen to me. Oh no, I want to listen. I need directives. In fact, I'm gonna take your advice. Come on, Mom. Let's go suck the vitamin D out of this day. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun, girls. My parents were career obsessed. They didn't have time for me. When they split up, I was 30 and basically left alone to fend for myself. Anyway, I have been alone for quite a while and recently I heard about this couple. They're married stand-up comics who were looking to adopt. And I thought that's great because I'm a comic and they could never say to me, you need something to fall back on because they don't have anything to fall back on either. They say the country's broke, you know? So I turn on the news, try to find out where all our money's been going. And the news guy told me, the teachers took it. Yeah, the teachers have all our money, but they're so sneaky, they still drive junky cars just to throw us off. Knock on the door, in walks the security guard, three of them, huge men and their drug dog. They ask us all to leave, and I'm like, oh my God, is this the day that I get busted for carrying my husband's pot? So anyway, we met and just, clicked, like we knew instantly that we needed to be a family. And it's been great. I feel like I have the childhood I've always wanted. Who's that? I don't know. 
Go away, we don't want any. <laughs> Shit. I told my agent and her husband to stop by after work. Are you kidding? It's family movie night. Yeah, I know. I fucked up. Hey, hello, Jimmy. Hey. Wait, Laura, please just say hello to them for a second. Get it, Dad. Fuck you. What? So where's Laura tonight? Did she have a set? She went to bed early. It's 8.30. Did you send her to bed without her dinner? <laughs> I rarely had dinner with my parents. My mother never made enough food for the six of us. I wound up having dinner with my friend every night, eventually sleeping with his mother. Wow. You never told me that. I didn't? No. <laughs> is, there, is there anything else you want to share? Any, any hit and runs? I'm sorry. I drank at lunch. So I've just been spilling all day. Well, I think it is such a noble thing to adopt. I mean, so many exceptional people were adopted. Like President Clinton, uh, Eric Clapton. Yeah, but didn't he end up screwing his friend's wife and then, like, breaking up their marriage? And he let his kid fall out that window. But he turned those mistakes into mega hits. Yeah, Alyssa was adopted. Oh, I meant molested. Sadly, that doesn't make me exceptional. Laura's exceptional. Yeah. <laughs> She's being an exceptional little brat right now, sulking up in her bedroom. Jimmy, well, to be perfectly honest, he forgot that you were dropping by tonight, and we had already planned a family movie night. Oh. oh. Well, yeah, we can leave. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we didn't really want to come over anyway. No, we did. <laughs> but, you know, we're so tired. Thank no, you. Just Jimmy, just Jimmy, please, stay. I'll go get Laura. Jimmy, don't. Yeah, don't okay. get her on our account. We don't want her to hate us. She's not going to hate you. She's an adult. She needs to learn how to deal with the change in plans. Get your ass down here! Laura. Laura, honey, we want to take you to breakfast to your favorite place. Want to go to Roscoe's? That's weird. She usually lets Basil and the cats in. She says she can't sleep without animals and Benadryl. It's locked. Let me break it down. Wait a minute, let me try my clip. Laura! She's gone! She left a note. No, it's a set list. Hey, she's doing the abortion joke. I like that joke. God damn, it's all my fault! No, it's our fault. We're too set in our ways. We're too selfish to really let Laura in. Ah, oh, my little baby. Oh, my little baby. Laura! Steph. She's not gonna get very far without these. Oh, that's terrible. These are antidepressants. She gets lost even when she's on her meds. Laura! Laura! What are you shaking them for? She's not a dog. Do you have a better idea? I'll get some more pills. God, I know I've never prayed to you before, and I'm not going to start now. Laura! Oh shit, these are mine. What am I fucking doing? What am I doing? I don't even want kids! Laura! This is Laura. She's too big for this frame. We just really want her to come home. I mean, we just want her to be safe and sound, and we really hope she forgives us. And she's okay. You know, I used to worry about such stupid shit. Like whether you could see my dandruff on stage or if another waitress was gonna sue me for sexual harassment. But you don't know the meaning of the word worry until your middle-aged daughter runs away. 
Please come home, Laura. Come on. This is where you belong with your family. I miss them sometimes. And I miss my meds too. I miss a lot of nice things like hugs and toothpaste. Fuck it, this is my life now. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus, are you okay? <coughs> I'm good. I'm good. See my folks tell them fuck you. Yeah, fuck you.